The match in eWord Learning, Mule, benchmark is introduced to evaluate how machines learn word meaning in grounded visual scenes. Inspired by human word learning, Mule consists of nine tasks covering basic attribute naming, relational word learning, number word learning, and pragmatic word learning. These tasks are designed to align with children's core abilities in word learning and echo theories in developmental literature. The benchmark is built in the CLEVR universe, where agents are tasked to understand novel words from context and choose the option that best matches the target query image. Experimental results show that pre-trained vision language models struggle to learn word meaning with few examples, lagging behind human capabilities. Large language models, LLMs, perform well on attribute and object naming tasks but poorly on others. Human performance is also benchmarked for comparison, revealing a significant divergence between human and machine word learning. This paper highlights the importance of human-like word learning in machines and calls for future research on building human-like machine models on word and language understanding. Mule, machine word learning, is a comprehensive suite designed to evaluate the ability of machines to learn words in a human-like manner, focusing on multimodal, few-shot, and referential uncertainty aspects. This benchmark suite includes nine tasks that cover various aspects of word learning, such as basic object attributes, relational word learning, number words, and pragmatic word learning. It consists of 37,800 training problems, 5,400 validation problems, and 5,400 testing problems, evenly divided among the nine tasks. Each problem is an episode consisting of seven images with six context images and one query image, accompanied by five candidate utterances, one of which correctly describes the scene. The tasks in Mule are designed to align with the core building blocks in human word learning, including cross-situational learning, bootstrapping, and pragmatic reasoning. These tasks cover various aspects of word learning, basic object categories, attribute, relational, numerical, and pragmatic word learning. Unlike other benchmarks that focus on basic object categories or visual reasoning, Mule offers a significantly more comprehensive benchmark suite for probing how machines learn words meaning across various few-shot scenarios with referential uncertainty. Mule uses novel words generated from common English syllables to create word concept mappings, assuming mutual exclusivity, where different novel words have different meanings in each episode. The tasks include shape, color, material, object, composite, relation, bootstrap, number, and pragmatic word learning, with the goal of examining the few-shot capability in machine word learning. The research paper discusses the machine word learning, MULE, framework, which evaluates the ability of artificial agents to learn words in a human-like manner. It includes various tasks such as shape, color, material, object, composite, relation, bootstrap, number, and pragmatic word learning. Each task is designed to mimic human learning scenarios, focusing on different aspects like object recognition, spatial relations, numerical understanding, and social pragmatic theory. The paper also explores the performance of various models, including multimodal and unimodal models, on these tasks. Multimodal models like CLIP and Flamingo are tested for their ability to learn from vision and language, while unimodal models like GPT-3.5 and BERT are used for language-based classification. The study aims to establish a strong baseline for machine learning by comparing their performance with human participants on the same tasks. The results are expected to shed light on the capabilities and limitations of artificial agents in word learning and their potential for understanding human language. The research paper discusses the machine word learning, MULE, framework, which aims to understand how machines can learn words through multimodal and unimodal approaches. The authors evaluate various models, including CLIP, Flamingo 1.1b, ALO, BERT, and GPT 3.5, on tasks like shape, color, material, object, and composite relation recognition. They also conduct human studies to compare and validate the results. The multimodal models generally perform poorly, except for Flamingo 1.1b, which shows decent performance. In contrast, unimodal language models, particularly fine-tuned BERT, achieve outstanding performance on object-level tasks. The study highlights the challenges of word learning in machines, especially in understanding complex relations and pragmatic cues. 
It suggests that unimodal models may have an advantage due to their ability to learn from text-based data, which can simplify the problem into a translation-like task. The research emphasizes the need for perceptually grounded word learning in machines and encourages future work to focus on this aspect. The proposed MULE, Machine Word Learning, Benchmark is a comprehensive suite for probing machines' word learning capabilities, echoing human word learning scenarios. Inspired by developmental studies on how children learn the meaning of words, Mule includes nine tasks covering humans' core cognitive toolkits in word learning, cross-situational reasoning, bootstrapping, and pragmatic learning. The tasks are designed to assess the ability of machines to learn words under the same conditions as humans with a focus on multimodal word learning with referential uncertainty. In contrast to unimodal large language models that demonstrate few-shot word learning capabilities on certain subtasks but are still far from human-like, multimodal vision language models fail on most tasks, with only the largest language model-based Flamingo performing better. The paper highlights that human-like word learning should be a path to multimodal AI as word learning is among the most fundamental cognitive skills for human multimodal understanding, concept learning, and language acquisition. The research presented in these two pages focuses on machine word learning, exploring various aspects of how machines can learn word meanings and concepts. It delves into the cognitive processes involved in human word learning, using computational models to simulate and understand these processes. The studies discussed utilize a range of datasets and benchmarks, such as the Omniglot Challenge, CLEVR, and Winneground, to evaluate the performance of machine learning models in learning word meanings and concepts. The results demonstrate the potential for machines to learn word meanings through cross-situational statistics and multimodal inputs, mirroring human learning mechanisms. The research also highlights the importance of understanding the role of shape and texture biases in machine learning as well as the need for models that can generalize to unseen situations. Overall, the studies contribute to the development of more sophisticated machine learning models that can better understand and learn from human language and concepts. Here is a combined summary of pages 13 and 14 of the research paper. The paper presents Mule, a machine word learning framework that evaluates the ability of artificial agents to learn words and concepts in a human-like manner. Mule is inspired by cognitive science and machine learning research, and it leverages the concept of word learning as Bayesian inference. The Mule dataset generation process involves creating various tasks that probe different aspects of word learning. These tasks include shape, color, material, object, composite, relation, and bootstrap. Each task is designed to test the agent's ability to learn and generalize word meanings in different contexts. In the shape task, Agents are presented with three shapes, cube, sphere, and cylinder, and three novel words. The context image contains one object, and the agent must learn the word shape mapping. Similarly, in the color task, agents learn to associate novel words with eight colors. The material task involves learning three materials, rubber, metal, and glass, and their corresponding novel words. The object task is more complex where agents learn to associate novel words with 144 unique objects, each with a combination of size, color, material, and shape. The composite task focuses on learning compositional multi-word phrases, where agents learn to associate novel words with attributes, shape, color, and material, and use syntax to bootstrap the word learning process. The relation task probes agents' capability of learning relational words, e.g., left, right, front, and behind, by presenting them with spatial relations between objects. Finally, the bootstrap task uses familiar relational words to infer objects' names and requires agents to learn six-word concept mappings. Overall, Mule provides a comprehensive framework for evaluating the ability of artificial agents to learn words and concepts in a human-like manner, with a focus on cognitive plausibility and scalability. The research paper discusses the concept of mule or machine word learning, which involves learning number words from 1 to 6 through context images with different numbers of objects. In pragmatic word learning, the task requires identifying the object being pointed at in the scene and understanding the word number mapping. The paper also provides experimental details for baseline models used, including CLIP, ALO, and Flamingo 1.1b models. 
For vision language models, images and corresponding texts are used as input, while language-only models use a captioner to parse images into scene descriptions before using them as input. The CLIP model utilizes a pre-trained image encoder and text features concatenated in a specific format, then passed through a six-layer transformer model with an MLP head for classification. The model is trained on the training set for 600 epics, with a dropout rate of 0.1, batch size 64, learning rate 1 times 10 to the power of 4, and Atom W optimizer, weight decay 0.01. The ALO model uses the Monet architecture, pre-trained on the training set images resized into 128 by 128 for 600 epics with Atom. LR equals 1 times 10 to the power of 5, 7 slots and a latent dimension of 16. The visual inputs are concatenated with text embeddings of context utterances and choices in a similar format as the clip model inputs, then passed through a transformer model with a head size of 8, a latent dimension of 512, and trained for 600 epics using the Atom Optimizer with a learning rate of 1 times 10 to the power of 4 for classification. Hyperparameters for the transformer model include training 200 epics, learning rate 5 times 10 to the power of 5, atom optimizer, beta 1 equals 0 0.9, beta 2 equals 0 0.999, epsilon equals 1 times 10 to the power of 8, linear learning rate decay, and batch size 128. For the Flamingo 1.1b model, the task is formulated as a multiple choice problem. A binary classifier head is added to Flamingo's last layer outputs, and the model is trained with cross-entropy loss. Hyperparameters include training steps 3000, approximately equals 106 epics, learning rate 5 times 10 to the power of 5, atom optimizer, and feeding each episode 5 times to get the logits corresponding to the 5 options, passing through a softmax layer to get the final answer. Here is a combined summary of pages 17 and 18 of the research paper. The paper presents the machine word learning, mule, optimizer, which is used to fine-tune language models for few-shot multiple-choice question-answering tasks. Specifically, the authors utilize the text DaVinci 003 model provided by the OpenAI API, where image captions and utterances are concatenated as inputs, and the model is prompted to choose the answer with the largest log probability. In addition to mule, the authors also employ the BERT model, following standard practices for multiple-choice question answering. The BERT model is fine-tuned on the training set for 200 epics, with a learning rate of 5 times 10 carat, 5, atom optimizer, and batch size 64. The authors also conduct a human study, recruiting 271 participants from Prolific, to evaluate human performance on the mule tasks. The human study involves nine tasks, where participants are paid an hourly wage of 6 pounds, with a bonus of £0.25 too. The study has been approved by an IRB, and only one outlier result is detected and removed. The authors perform t-tests to determine if one task is significantly easier than the other, with a significance level of p less than 0.05, one tailed. The results of the human study are presented in Table A1, which shows the average human performance on each task. The authors also perform Grubbs tests to remove outlier results. The p-values of human results on the mule tasks are presented in Table A2, which indicates the significance of the differences in difficulty between tasks. Finally, the authors provide additional task examples in Section E, including shape, material, object, composite, relation, bootstrap, and number tasks. These examples illustrate the word concept mapping process where words are associated with specific concepts, such as shapes, materials, and objects. The research paper discusses machine word learning, MULE, and its applications in various domains. It presents a comprehensive framework for word concept mapping, utilizing color-coded symbols to represent different concepts. The framework is demonstrated through several examples, showcasing its versatility in mapping words to their corresponding concepts. The paper also delves into the significance of material properties in the context of mule, highlighting the importance of understanding the physical attributes of objects in word concept mapping. The authors emphasize the need for a multidisciplinary approach, combining insights from linguistics, psychology, and materials science to improve the accuracy of mule.
The paper concludes by outlining potential future directions, including the integration of sensory data and the development of more sophisticated algorithms for word concept mapping. Throughout the discussion, the authors emphasize the potential of Mule to revolutionize the way we understand and interact with language and the physical world. In the context of machine word learning, the research focuses on identifying relationships between words and concepts. The first set of queries and word concept mappings are centered around geometric shapes, colors, and materials. For instance, upfilters is associated with a cylinder, purple, rubber, and large size, versus stew, with a sphere, brown, metal, and small size, motions rec, with a sphere, green, metal, and small size, erringson, with a cube, red, glass, and small size, awning house, with a cylinder, gray, metal, and small size, manafad, with a sphere, green, glass, and large size. These mappings are used to determine the relationships between these words and their corresponding concepts. The second set of queries and word concept mappings involves different geometric shapes, colors, and materials. Here, datethetal is mapped to a cylinder, purple, rubber, and small size, outsapak, to a cube, gray, metal, and small size, upcation, to a cube, yellow, rubber, and small size, menmadden to a sphere, purple, rubber, and small size, some upset to a sphere, purple, metal, and large size, peef call, to a cylinder, cyan, glass, and large size. These mappings also serve to establish connections between words and concepts. The third set of queries and word concept mappings focuses on color and shape relationships. Eisvicket is associated with brown, Nesselcrow with blue, Sorpar with a cube, Missinings with a cylinder, Renalset with a sphere. The queries and ground truths further illustrate the relationships between these words and their corresponding concepts. Finally, the fourth set of queries and word concept mappings involve color and shape relationships as well. Burdako is mapped to a cube, Parshaizik to a cylinder, Tonalal to a sphere, Setlison to purple, Redelness to cyan, Priorlik to blue. These mappings, along with the queries and ground truths, demonstrate the relationships between these words and their concepts. In summary, this research aims to explore the relationships between words and concepts using geometric shapes, colors, and materials. It utilizes various queries and word concept mappings to establish connections and understand the nuances of language and meaning. The research paper discusses machine word learning, MULE, and its applications in understanding complex relationships between words and concepts. It presents various examples and scenarios where MULE is used to analyze and interpret word concept mappings. The paper highlights the importance of context in word meaning and how MULE can help in disambiguating word meanings. It also explores the use of MULE in understanding spatial relationships between objects, such as cubes and spheres, and their orientations. The methodology involves querying options and ground truths to validate the accuracy of the MULE model. The paper concludes by discussing the potential applications of MULE in various fields, including artificial intelligence and computer science. MULE, machine word learning. The research focuses on the development of a machine learning model that can learn and understand words in a similar way to humans. This is achieved through a series of experiments, where the model is presented with various word concept pairs and asked to identify the correct word based on its meaning. In the first experiment, E.8, the model is given five options, Mentmo, Ewer, Riside, Torden, and Sakao. The correct answer, Torden, corresponds to the concept of a man throwing a frisbee. The model successfully maps each word to its respective concept, demonstrating its ability to understand the nuances of language and context. In the second experiment, E.9, the model is presented with another set of options, Inningson, Pomies, Unout, Sidex, and Sidefa. The correct answer, Sidefa, represents a sphere. Again, the model accurately maps each word to its corresponding concept, showcasing its proficiency in word concept mapping. Furthermore, the study explores the model's capacity to differentiate between similar words, such as Sidex and Sidefa, which both refer to shapes but differ in their specific characteristics. The model's performance indicates that it can effectively distinguish between such subtle differences in meaning. 
Additionally, the research examines the model's understanding of pragmatic concepts, such as the relationship between a word and its context. For instance, in the experiment E.9, the model is required to choose the appropriate word for a given situation, such as selecting sidefa when presented with a picture of a sphere. This demonstrates the model's ability to comprehend and apply pragmatic knowledge in word concept mapping. Overall, the MULE model exhibits a high level of proficiency in understanding and mapping words to their respective concepts, even when dealing with complex and subtle differences in meaning. This research contributes significantly to the field of natural language processing and artificial intelligence, paving the way for more advanced language models capable of human-like understanding and interpretation.